Hello, it's me again, and this is part two of my mother's doll collection video. The first one was cut off early because um, my memory card filled up on me. But I'm going to show you the last doll case, and then I'm actually going to go and show you some of the ones my mother still has packed up. You know, the behind the scene dolls. But okay. This is the last doll case, and this has a lot of dolls that were, that are more antique, some more interesting, and some that are handed down through the family. So, okay. Okay, we're going to start at the top. Back here is a sun rubber. She's old. Uh, I don't know how old, but. And this is a sock doll that was my mother's when she was a little girl. Her mother brought it home from a craft fair or something. She never really knew where she got her. And this right here is Penny. She's Mattel. And I remember her growing up because I, I, I would used to ask to sleep with her. And the funny thing is she's got a cloth body. But she has a rubber butt. And it's cute. This is a Senorita, Madame Alexander. Tinykins or Alexanderkins. Or, and this is just a rubber doll. Okay, now this doll, she keeps falling over every time I open the case. But she is a dancing, I guess, flamenco girl. She, she was brought back from the beach to my for my mother by her parents. And this is a Carol Sue doll. She's very similar to my carnival dolls, but she comes in a box. And this is a walking doll. Um, she is, I think, Mattel. No, she is EG or, um, E E G E E. How uh, uh, other else you say that? <laughs> I don't really know if she works and her hair is a little messy, but she's still a nice doll. This one right here is. I remember my mother got her or him at a yard sale a long time ago. And if you notice, his arms broke. But she still liked him anyways because he was very interesting. And he has the mark of a crane on the back of his neck. And um, on the back. And there's a name but I can't read it. So maybe y'all might be able to tell me. Don't really know what he's made of. Some kind of plastic. Okay, in the back, you see one of my mother's teddy bears from when she was a little girl. I love these kind of teddy bears, really. They're just so simple and cute. And this, I think, is an F and B. She's nice. Okay. This is one of the dolls that was handed down to my mother. This doll belonged, if I'm correct to my grandpa's mother. Or it could have been my grandpa's grandma. And she made this outfit in the little pocket that goes with it. This is a, just a little dress up doll. Nothing really special about the doll itself, but the outfit was made by the same person that made this outfit. This doll right here, she's on front, so I'm going ahead. Uh, she's just, I guess, a little tourist souvenir doll. She has this um cone in her feet. And here's the tag. Y'all might know more about her than I do. And back here are some sawdust dolls that were Dutch, I, I'm guessing. 
that were passed down to my mother too. And um, this right here is a Walker doll. We got her in an antique store last year. And this doll goes with the other two salt Dutch sawdust dolls. She's a taller version and she's filled with sawdust, but she was also handed down. Now this is a composition Shirley Temple. We bought her an auction um, a year or two ago. Now here we go. This is a uh, Ashton Drake. I don't really know the name, but she's cute and the big teddy bear. Now this is another just dress em up doll. And the outfit's made by the same person that made the Barbie outfit. This doll is actually composition. And she's not in the best shape. But the outfit, and she's probably just another dress up doll. Too, but a really old one. But this dress, if, if you can see, it's, it's a big dress. And it's made by the same person that also made that dress. And the Barbie dress and the others. Now this right here is an ideal Snow White. And that's another Sugar Plum by um, Ashton Drake. And here's two more little carnival dolls like I have. Now, down here are some more interesting dolls. Now this right here is just a cheap little doll I bought my mom years ago. And, um, she still kept it. I don't know why. And this is a, um, one of the, I, I see them all the time, but Annabelle doll. Yeah. And this is an Ashen Drake. My grandma gave him to him. Some 40 over the hill dolls. And this was a souvenir doll that was brought back to my mother from another vacation by her parents. This is a Madame Alexander Cinderella doll. And in the back, we have these. These are wood, hand carved from wood, the whole body and everything. We have Eskimos. There's another Eskimo. And then we have a farm boy. And then we have a sailor. And they are really cute. And then down here, we have a Horseman Shirley Temple Vintage. We have a big Vogue Jenny baby. And then we have a porcelain doll that was given to my mother by my Aunt Lisa. That takes care of that cabinet. 